Hello everyone, so I'm Sir Jess and welcome back to Sir Jess channel. So this is the continuation of our discussion on uh, anti-differentiation rules. Okay, so for your information, this video is based on SDO Palawan uh, self-learning modules. Alright, so if you want to go back to our previous examples, then please do so. And, but this time, let's have number five. So we have integral of 12x squared plus 2x dx. So this is equal to 12. Integral of x squared plus 2. Integral of x dx. Which gives us 12. Sorry. I forgot to write dx here. Okay, this would give us 12 x cubed over 3 plus 2 x squared over 2 plus c. Okay? Basically, din dinadagdagan lang po natin yung ating pong power ng 1 and kung ano yung sum nun, yun na rin po yung denominator. Kaya, if we have 2 plus 1, that would be equal to 3 and over 2. 3. Okay? So, pwede pong balikan yung ating basic rules on anti-differentiation. Let's have, so this, okay, let's evaluate this one. So, this would give us 12 divided by, divided by 3 is 4. x cubed plus 3 divided by 2 is 1. Hindi na natin sinusulat yan. So, we have x squared plus c. Okay, let's have number 6. We have integral of t times the quantity 2t minus 3 squared of t over dt. Alright. Actually, pwede natin gamitan yan ng product rule, no? Pero since hindi ko pa nadi-discuss yun, um, i-multiply na lang muna natin or i-simplify na lang muna natin yung term ito. So, if we're going to simplify this one, we have integral of t times 2t, that would be 2t squared minus uh, 3. Okay, t times square root of t is t square root of t. dt. So, this would give us integral of 2 t squared dt minus 3 t squared of t dt. Alright. So, ano ba ang t squared of t? What is t squared of t? This would give us t times t raised to 1 half. Alright? So, alam naman natin sa ating law of exponent, if we have the same base, let's, for, let's have, uh, for instance, we have x raised to m times x raised to n, we will just copy the base, the, sa the similar base, and add the exponent. Okay? So, yan yung law of exponent natin, no? In here, we have similar base. Kaya, ang gagawin natin dito, we will just copy the base or the same base and then, i-add natin yung exponent. Here, we have 1. So, we have 1 plus 1 half. And that would give us t. 1 plus 1 half is 3 halves. So, this means we have 2 integral of t squared d is equal or so minus 3 integral of t raised to 3 halves dt now let's integrate so we have 2 integral of t squared dt is t cubed 
over 3 kasi nag a tayo ng 1 tapos kung ano yung atin pong nag a tayo ng 1 sa power at kung ano yung sum nun, yun yung ating denominator. So, we have minus 3 and here, a-add tayo ng 1 dito. So, 3 halves plus 1 is actually 5 halves. Okay? So, we have 3 halves plus 1. That would give us 1 times 2. That is 2 plus 3. That is 5. 5 and then copy the denominator. So, we have 5 halves. Or, pwede rin naman 3 halves plus ano ang denominator 2. So, we have 2 over 2. 3 plus 2, that is 5. Then, copy the denominator. Okay? So, that would give us um, 3t raised to 5 halves over 5 halves plus c. So, we have 2 thirds t cubed minus Okay, 3 divided by 3 divided by 5 halves is also equal to 3 times 2 over 5. So, 3 times 2, that is 6 over 5. So, we have 6 over 5 e 5 halves, t raised to 5 halves, plus c. Or, pwede na natin isulat ito as 2 thirds t cubed minus 6 fifths square root of t raised to 5 plus c. Alright. Answer number 7. the integral of x squared over x dx so this would give us okay since actually pwede itong isolve using the quotient rule pero since hindi ko pa na ituturo yun ang gagawin natin dito i-divide na lang muna natin each term so we have the integral of x squared over x squared plus 1 over x squared. Okay? So, mangyari magiging x squared divided by x squared is 1 plus 1 over x squared. Iangat na natin yan. x raised to negative 2. Okay? dx. So, this would give us integral of dx kasi ito yung 1. A1 yan dyan, pero natin yung actually sinusulat yung 1. Plus, integral of x raised to negative 2, dx. And we know that integral of dx is x, so we have x plus integral of x raised to negative 2, that would give us negative 2 plus 1 is actually negative 1. So we have x raised to negative 1 over negative 1 plus c which is equal to okay x raised to negative 1 divided by negative 1 is negative 1 so negative x raised to negative 1 plus c so we have x and pwede na actually ito pero merong mga teacher na hindi tinatanggap to kasi hindi pa to naka-standard form so we have x minus 1 over x plus Okay? Pag natin na ano yan? Kasi sa law of exponent that if we have x raised to negative power, we have 1 over x raised to n. So, yun yung ginawa natin dito. Alright. So, that is the answer. Or, 
Pwede pa natin actually itong isolve, no? Pero, bar sa module, um, nag-come up na rin siya dito sa ating, sa, 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 sa